Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to install and set up Apache Web Server and PHP 8 on Windows 11. If you are new to this channel, subscribe this channel to get more tutorials. Let's get started by downloading Apache Web Server from this website Apache Launch. From here, download Apache 2.4 for Windows 64-bit operating system. Download this zip archive file. Click here to download. I already have downloaded it on my machine. And also download PHP for Windows operating system from this URL. From here, download PHP, thread safe, zip archive file. I already have downloaded it on my machine. Okay, after a successful download, navigate to download folder and then extract this archive file. Okay, now navigate to this extracted file from here copy apache 24 directory and paste into local disk c at first i am going to install apache web server so follow this installation instruction now I am going to run Apache Web Server as a service. So copy this command and then open command prompt as administrator. Okay. Now navigate to the Apache directory by CD. and then navigate to bin subdirectory okay now write this command and you can change the service name my case apache24 okay now hit enter if you get this error v current time 140.dll was not found we can fix this problem by installing Microsoft Visual Studio C++ redistributables okay download this libraries from here click here to download I already have downloaded it on my machine navigate to download folder and then install this executable file okay now remember that php version 8 and later support the microsoft visual c++ redistributables for Visual Studio 2019 or later okay okay now install Apache web server Apache web server installed as a service successfully on Windows 11 okay now verify the installation here open service app check that apache web server is running if it is not running start the service from here okay now access the local host so write local host on URL of a web browser if you see this that means 
Apache web server installed successfully. Okay. Now I'm going to install PHP on Windows 11. Rename PHP extracted folder. and copy this folder and paste into local disk C or anywhere on your computer and then navigate to PHP and copy the path okay and then search here for the system environment variable To install PHP for all users, go to the system variable section and then click on path. Now click on edit, add new path here. Okay, paste this path here. Now click on OK. Okay, and OK. Now verify the installation. Open new command prompt and type this command here php hyphen v for version that's it php 8.1.9 cli installed successfully on windows 11 okay now i am going to configure php with apache web server now navigate to Apache web server and then configuration directory now open httpd configuration file with any text editor and then go to bottom of this file okay here write this lines Okay, here add the PHP 8 module path. So navigate to PHP directory and then search here PHP 8 Apache dot DLL. Copy the full path and then paste here okay and also add here the php ini directory here modify this slash backslash to forward slash okay now save this file let's create a simple php script and run on apache web server so open notepad or any text editor now write a simple php script here that will print a message php 8 and apache web server okay now save this file and name it index.php okay now navigate to local disk c and then apache and then navigate to htdocs subdirectory okay here you can create a new folder my case my site and now 
save this file into my site now verify it on web browser right here slash my site hit enter if you get this error you need to restart the apache web server so stop the service close this command prompt now reopen service app and start apache web server I'm going to start the Apache web server from command prompt. Now write this command here http d.exe hit enter we need to modify the httpd dot configuration file so open this file and modify here just write php module and then save this file okay now start the apache web server open service app start apache web server okay now verify on web browser now run the php script my site that's it php script is running on apache web server if you like this video like comment and share thank you so much for watching this video